Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent Sensi consultant. I'm here with my warm reviews of the new Sensperations Christmas Cottage collection. It's coming out this coming Monday, November 13th. So I warmed through them all. I want to do some warm reviews, try to get this up before they're released so you can know maybe what you're interested in or what you're not. But I think you should get it. All of them because they're all really good. I love this collection. I think it's such a good collection. If you like Christmas Cottage and you like those spicy, Christmassy, cidery, just cider, spice, and cinnamon type of scents, you have to get this. These are so good. So it comes in this box. You saw our, or my, Brad wasn't with me. I did the first sniffs on this. It comes in a box like that. And then on the inside, you got a little scent circle. I already used it, so it's out of the package. And then you got your four bars in here. Whoopsie, one fell out. So, I'll talk about the scent circle too, because I did use it, but I'll talk about that after I talk about the bars. So first up, I'm just gonna go through here in random, and then I'll let you know my favorites at the end here. So first up, we have Christmas Cottage Cider. And there's a little close up here. And I, I write the notes on them too, and the date that I got, the month and the year that I got these bars. So, then when I do my empties and stuff, they're on there. It's just easier to maybe to do that. I've been trying to do that. That way I don't have to look the notes up and everything when I go to do the videos. And when I, before I use them, it's nice to have them handy like that in case I forget what the notes are and I don't have to go look them up later. So this one is Mold Spices Cinnamon Stick Valencia Orange. So on Cold Snip, I, this was okay to me, but I didn't love it as much as I thought I was gonna like it because I thought, I thought I was gonna love this one because I love cider. And then I love Christmas Cottage, so I thought it was going to be a win-win, but it was just okay for me. I liked it on cold, but it wasn't, not as much as I thought I was going to. But I did like it better warming, though. I still wasn't completely in love with it like I thought, but I did like it a lot better on warming than I did on cold. I liked it even more warming. But it, it is really good. It is really good, though. Um, yeah, so you get the mulling spices, you still get that the base of that Christmas cottage, like that cinnamon, and then um, the Valencia orange is in there, and that cinnamon, uh, cinnamon stick, but the mold spices, there's some other mold spices in there. I don't know if there's some kind of mold spice in there that I'm not really super crazy about that maybe, I mean, I like it, but maybe it's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is that why I wasn't, I shouldn't say I didn't like it because I liked it. Or there was something in there that didn't make me not love it is what I'm trying to say. I don't know though. I did really like it. It's just, let's just put it this way. It's not a club bar for me. I thought I was going to love it. Probably want to put it in my club, all that kind of stuff. It's not a clubber for me, but it's definitely repurchased. I definitely would get it again. Just not a club. So it was a, a strong like, just not absolute love. So yeah, really good. It's just a bunch of different molds, spices with that cinnamon stick, once the orange. It could be clove, just all kinds of different things. Really nice. It's a little cidery there. I don't know if there's, there's a little hint of like an apple cider. It's like a spicy apple kind of with cinnamon too. More cinnamon than apple. And that Valencia orange, really nice, really good. Um, this one, this one is like, I would say this is like a medium. This was probably the second lightest one out of all four. It was the second lightest one. It was probably like a seven out of 10. Right around there, maybe a little bit over seven, seven and a half. So that was good. I liked that one. Then next up we have Christmas Cottage Wreath, and this one is Eucalyptus Spruce Sprig and Crushed Clove. This was really, really good. I like this one quite a bit. So this one is again you have that Christmas Cottage Wreath, but I feel like this one's a little bit less on the cinnamon than the regular Christmas cottage and a little bit less cinnamon than the Christmas cottage cider. But they like replaced that with like the spruce sprig. So it's like a more Christmassy that animals are playing back there. It seems like whenever we do videos, they get all hyper and wanna play. So they're chasing each other back there. Um, it's like they calm down that cinnamon and put in like spruce sprig. So it gives you a little bit more of a Christmas tree scent. And then um, it, it does have that crushed clove in there and then some eucalyptus. Um, it's not overpowering the eucalyptus though, but it's in there. It's a really nice blend. It's really good. I do like the, 
added cinnamon. Um, crushed clove with cinnamon, but it's not too much cinnamon. And then that spruce and eucalyptus. Really good blend, really pretty. Yeah, I really like that one. And this one was pretty strong. I say this one's probably like an eight to a nine. Did really good. Next up we have Christmas Cottage Mint. And this one is Harvest Spice Winter Mint and Morning Air. I love this one. This one, so good. Oh, I can't tell you how much I love this one. This one, it was possible to love this one for me. So good. Um, I like this even better warming than on cold for me. And that, that this was my favorite on cold too. So I for sure get that winter mint, but it's not overpoweringly mint. So if you're not a, a mint lover, I think you might be okay with this because it's really good with that harvest spice. So you kind of get a little bit of that cinnamon and stuff. Again, it's not as much cinnamon as like Christmas cottage, but it's in there. But then you get that, it's like a winter mint. It's not a peppermint, it's a, it's a winter mint. But then you get like a little bit of spices, harvest spices, little cinnamon. Uh, the morning air, I think the morning air just gives it kind of a freshness. It's like a fresh winter mint with like some spices, just like it says. But the blend is so good. It's so good. I loved it so much. And it was strong. This was the strongest out of all of them. It was like a nine. Maybe nine, nine and a half out of 10. Really good, really strong. Loved every minute of it. I warmed these all in my bedroom, by the way. I didn't warm any of them on my own concept. I, I did them all in the bedroom. So I'm not sure how they perform in open concept, but I think most of them would do pretty good. I, I think, anyway. And then lastly, we have the original Christmas Cottage. Focus. There we go. And this is Valencia Oranges raspberries, cloves, and spices. So this, yeah, it's just so good. Original, it's kind of the same as all those, like especially Christmas Cottage Cider, because that had Valencia oranges too, and then the other ones have cloves and spices, but this has raspberries. So I think that's definitely the difference with this one. It's got that fruit raspberry in there, and none of the other ones had any kind of fruit. They just had mint and cider and spruce. But this does have like a fruity, raspberry to that with the cinnamon but this one is a little bit heavier on the cinnamon and the spices and the cinnamon cloves and spices a little bit spicier but the valencia orange and then the added fruit raspberry really really good very christmasy really nice however i had this last year the first time i ever warmed this was last year because we're fairly new to scentsy so Last Christmas was my first real Christmas with Scentsy, so I had never tried this before, so I tried it and I loved it last year. It was so strong for me last year. I warmed it in the bedroom last year too, because I remember that, and um, really good, really strong. This one wasn't quite as strong as the one I had last year though. It did good, but I felt like it was calmed down a little bit than it was last year. Last year it was just so good and so intense for me. This one was a little calmed down a little bit compared to that, and it was actually, out of all three of these, it was the lightest. That really surprised me, because I was thinking this was going to be the strongest. It was the lightest out of all four of these. Did I say three? Out of all four of these. Yeah, it was probably like a... I want to say six to a seven? Yeah, probably like a six to a seven. Maybe six, six and a half. It might have creeped up to a seven, but yeah, I was surprised. Enough. Like, It just wasn't giving me that punch that it had last year for me. But I did really like what I was smelling. It just wasn't as strong as I remember it being. So we'll see how it does. I'm, I ordered the brick because this is available in the brick as well in the catalog this year. All catalog long for the fall and winter, all season long for fall and winter. So I ordered that in our party closeout. So I'll be getting that. So I'm curious to see how it's going to do in the brick, even though it scares me because sometimes bricks are known for being a little bit lighter <laughs> for some reason than the bars are. And this bar was a little bit on the lighter side. So, I mean, not light, light. I'm not, I don't want to say it was light. It was just lighter than it was last year. Because, you know, six to a seven is not really light. That's like more medium. But um, I'm just saying it was lighter than it was last year. But we'll see how the brick does. Okay, so now, but it's still really good. I love it. Uh, let's go to my least favorite to my favorite. Uh, okay, so... 
I will say Christmas Cottage Cider is number four. I'm going four to one. I really like this, so I liked it better on warming than I did on cold. Even I liked it even more warming. So that's number four. Number three, Christmas Cottage, because it was lighter. It was just lighter. I almost switched that and put this last just because it was lighter, but I did really still really like it. But um, it was just not quite as much. Didn't pack a punch like it did last year for me for some reason. Number two is Christmas Cottage Wreath. Really, really good. Love this one. Number two. Number one, Christmas Cottage Mint. Told you I love this one. This, it was just so good. I loved it. This one I might possibly club. But I would get all of them again. Um, I'm probably not going to buy the whole set of them because, like I said, I got a brick of the Christmas Cottage Cider, so I don't really need more bars of that because I'm going to get a whole brick. And then... I don't need another scent circle because I have, I had two sets, so I have another one left besides this one, and then I got another one in the November whiff box. I had a Christmas cottage cider uh, scent cottage, if you will. So I got two more of these, so I don't really need another one. I mean, I could always use another one, but I don't have to have one. Um, so I'm probably just going to get a couple more of the Christmas Cottage Mint and a couple more of the Christmas Cottage Wreath and I'll probably go ahead and get Christmas Cottage Cider too because I want to see, you know, you know, I did like it. So I'm going to get two more each of those again rather than get the whole box because I don't need the Christmas Cottage Cider and I got two more scent circles or scent cottages so I'm okay. But yeah, it's totally worth getting. I definitely think you should get it because it's $23 for this box. And your little scent circle. Oh, and now I gotta talk about this scent circle. I forgot. So this is Christmas Cottage cider in the little. It's like a little Christmas cottage there. That's what it looks like on that side. So this did pretty good in my car. I put it in there, and um, it wasn't real strong, but I could smell it for sure. It was like a a light medium in there, um, which is good because sometimes the scent circles are a little iffy hit and miss. Sometimes you can't really smell them at all. And sometimes they'll be really good. You'll, they'll last for a few weeks or whatever. And some are in between there. This was a medium, light to medium. Um, and it lasted about four to five days, probably like on the fifth day, it was pretty gone. Uh, but you know, four to five days at a light to light medium is pretty good. I think so. I liked it. I like that one and all the bars. So yeah, definitely recommend getting this inspiration's Christmas Cottage Collection. Like I said, it comes out this coming Monday, uh, November 13th on our website. And we'll link our website below. You can just click on it and uh, we'll take you to our website or get a hold of us if you want to uh, put a pre-order in if you're busy Monday working or whatever and you just want us to put the order in for you, we'll be more than welcome to do that too. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.